Hello and welcome to Applied Mathematics for Business, CQMS 110. I am Dr. Pauline Fu. In this lecture, we will talk about exponential and logarithmic functions. Topic include natural logarithms, exponential and logarithmic fun equations logarithmic and semi-logarithmic graphs. We start by introducing change of base formula for logarithm. Uh, suppose we have this expression b raised to power u equal to x Okay. And if you, this is suppose, okay, our starting point. And from here, you can take logarithms to the base A on both sides, you get this one here. Take logarithm of base A. And now apply power rule for logarithm. So you move this power U in front of log copy down the right hand side, solve for u, and you get this expression. Okay, and remember what is the u from here, this is our starting point, b raised to power u equal to x. So u equal to log base b x. Okay, it is here, this is u log b base b x and right hand side is here okay and this formula we called change base formula change base formula the original base is b you can take any base a any base a okay and it becomes this format uh, most often we use base 10. Sometimes we also use uh, base e. e is the equal to okay. Okay. Uh, 2.17828, etc. Okay. So now let's use the change of base formula, this one here, to apply for base E. When you have a base E, we use this log X means base E. And if you have a base E, that logarithm is called natural logarithm. Okay. So when we use the change base formula, change to base 10, so this LOG means base 10 and apply to this formula. Okay. And if you want to change base 10 to natural logarithm, and this LN means base E. So by default, if you see LOG, that means base is 10, unless it is specified otherwise. And if you see just LN means base is E, natural logarithm. Um, so this is um, some properties, okay? So remember we have log base B, then BX, you can move this power in front of this log, okay? And we have, if the log base B, then B, this is one. Okay, so this is one property here. And the other property is B raised to power log BX equal to X. Okay. And use those, we can divide into, and for this one, so move X in front of this log, you have x, and use the property 
log e equal to one. Remember when you just have ln means base is e. Okay. And for this one, we use this one here. Okay. Use this one, you get this one. All right, now let's look at some example. Okay. Uh, simplify log e square. Okay, you can directly move this two in front of this n, you get a two. And simplify long then e raised to power 0 0.03x. And for this one, you use um, this formula here. Okay, it is just x means whatever this number is here. And the next, let's look at this expression e raised to power log seven. And for this one, we use this formula here, here, this one here. When you have e, then ln long. Looks like they cancel out, just have this part. And for this one e raised to power long two y, you can use this formula here. Okay, looks like they cancelled out, just have x. So just have this two y left. Okay. Uh, so how do we solve exponential equations? Usually there are two ways. One way is um, changing to the log logarithmic form. And the other way is to take logarithms for each, uh, for each side. So let's solve this problem, two raised to power x equal to uh, eight. So directly based on uh, the logarithm function. So x equal to log base two, then eight. This is the definition, okay? And then h is the same as two raised to power three. Okay. And now you move this power three in front of log, copy down log two, then two. And if you have base the same as this number, then it is just one. Okay, so the result is three. So this is the one method changing to logarithmic form. The second method take logarithms of each side. So left hand side, you take logarithm becomes this one. Right hand side, take logarithm. Okay, and now apply the property. This X is in the power position, you move in front of a log becomes here. Okay. And both sides divided by log two. Okay, and you get this one is actually log eight equal to two raised to power three okay. over log two. Numerator equal to three, okay, times one, Denominator equal to num no three times log okay, uh, two and then over log two and this cancelled out and you have three. Okay. So we introduced basic uh, equations for logarithm. Now let's do an application problem. A human ear responds to sound over a brand range of sound intensities. Therefore, a log logarithmic intensity scale is usually used, where the intensity of sound is compared to a reference value. In particular, the sound intensity level SL measured in dB is defined by the equation where I is the intensity of the sound and I zero is the minimum 
detectable intensity. A jackhammer has a sound level of 100 dB. On a busy street, has a sound level of 70, 70 dB. To find how many times greater the intensity of I, J, of the sound of a J hammer is then the intensity of I, C, of the sound of the city street, we began by substituting the given sound levels and their corresponding intensities separately into the equation. So this is a original given equation. We have two situations. Situation one, a jack hammer. Okay, jack hammer have a sound level of 70. This is sound level. Okay, uh, situation two, we have an a busy street. On busy street, the sound level is 100. Uh, no, the jack hammer has uh, 100. Okay, this is 100 corresponding to jack, jack hammer. On busy street, uh, you have 70. I see. Okay, represent busy street. So just plug in um, the sound level into this equation. Okay. And now let's simplify, simplify those equations. Uh, let's look at this one first. Divide both sides by 10. You get seven equal to log. Okay, IC over I zero. And this one divide both sides by 10. You get 10 equal to log IJ over I zero. Okay. And from this one, Okay, we figure out what is IC over I zero. It is a 10 raised to power seven by definition. Okay, uh, similarly, IJ over I zero equal to 10 raised to power 10. Remember if you have, for example, uh, A equal to log, okay, base B then X, suppose, okay, and it is the same as b raised to power a equal to x. Okay, this is a property. So anyway, we get this expression for ct and this one is for Jack Hammer. Now we isolate ic. Okay, isolate ij. Our objective is to find how many times greater so that means we need to do the ratio ij over ic okay and then simplify this one we get this number 10 raised to power 3 it is equal to 1000 or ij equal to 1000 ic okay that means um the sound level for jackman is 1000 of the sound level for the street. So that is an application problem. Next, let's look at other logarithmic equation. So let's solve this logarithmic equation here. So we need to uh, use the power rule. If you have a number in front of a log, you can put this number in the power position here. See this number two. Okay, and copy down the rest items. And now apply this uh, property. So for example, if you have a log x, long x plus long y, it is equal to long x multiplied by y okay and if you have long x minus long y equal to long then x over y x over y okay so use this property apply to this one here if you have plus you do multiplication if you have the nine uh, minus you do division 
you come up with this one here. Okay. And then um, uh, it is the same as this exponent here. Okay, because if you have, for example, uh, long, um, maybe something x equal to b. Okay, so x equal to, if you just have ln, it is natural logarithm, means base e, e raised to power b. Okay, use this one, you get this one. And now solve for x and you get final result. Okay. Um, so next one, solving a logarithmic equation. Uh, this is original equation here. Okay. So again, we use this, put this number two into the power position here. Okay. And move right hand side, move right hand side into left hand side and move negative one to the right hand side. Just rearrange the original term. Okay. And now we have log minus log. See, log minus log equal to log, do the division. Okay, so x squared over one minus two x equal to one. Okay, and then for this one, remember if you have a log, no base means base is a 10, okay. Uh, log, for example, x equal to b, just for example. Okay, so x equal to 10 raised to power b. Okay, so this is the property. Okay, apply this one into this equation and you get this. Okay, and then uh, both sides multiply by one minus x, you get this quadratic equation you can use quadratic formula, okay? Remember quadratic formula, x equal to 2a, negative b, positive negative, square root of b square minus 4ac, for general quadratic function, okay? Uh, and you get the result. Uh, you have two solutions, but the logarithm, the logarithm, for logarithm, we do not take negative number. So we dropped this solution, okay? And we only take the positive number here. Um, now let's talk about uh, the graph, logarithmic and semi-logarithmic graphs. Uh, let's take a look at of this exponential graph, y equal to four, multiplied by three raised to power x, and we construct table of values like this. As you observed, x uh, from this table from negative one to five, but y is changed from 1.3 to almost 1,000, okay? So the, the y changes very rapidly, okay? Um, because of the scale must be used, we see that it is not possible to show accurately the difference in y values because y changes rapidly, okay? From one to 1,000, x only changed from negative one to five. So how do we solve this problem? Uh, one possible solution is to use logarithmic scale, logarithmic scale. So this is the topic we are going to turn to, okay? Um, for example, if we want to plot the interval between one and 10 on a logarithmic scale, you construct a data table. Okay, when n equal to one, two, three, until 10, what is log n? And this is the result, okay? So on a, a logarithm scale, two, number two here, see, on a logarithm scale, number two is placed at 0 0.0001. 
301. Uh, that means it is a 30.1% of the way from 1 to 10. It is roughly one third of the distance from 1 to 10. Okay. Uh, 3 is placed at 0 0.477, okay, etc. So this part here, this graph shows the corresponding logarithm scale and the number. So this is the logarithm scale here. Okay. So this is actually repeat the previous slide. See, this is the logarithm scale, okay? And this one represents the distance here. Okay. Um, Sometimes if we wish to use a large range of volumes for only one of the variables, remember usually we have two variables, x and y, two variables. But you, sometimes only one variable have a large range of value, okay? In this case, uh, you can use what is known as uh, semi-logarithmic or semi-log on the graph. Okay. Um, in some situation, if you wish to use a large range of values for both variables, you can use logarithmic, okay, or log log, okay, both x and y use the um, logarithm scales. So let's take an example, graphing a semi-logarithmic graph, graph, um, construct a semi logarithmic graph of this one. So first, we create some table of values when x equal to negative 1, 0, 1, etc. until 5, we get y value. Because we know y value changed dramatically from 1, roughly from 1 to 1000. So we need to take a look of the y value. Now it is a change just from 0 0.1 to 3, 2.9, okay? And we can plug in um, the point into the graph. And the result looks like a straight line, okay? And why it looks like a straight line? And we can start from original function. Both sides, if you take log, Left hand side, you take log, you get log y. Right hand side here, you take log, you get here. Okay, and with, and this one we apply the property of the the log. This property here. Okay, and we get this result. And let u represent log y. It is actually this. Uh, line here, okay? So u equal to log four plus x log three. And this is the linear function. This is the constant. This is the slope. And this is dependent variable, u, independent variable x. That's why it has the form of u equal to mx plus b, okay? Um, another example, graphing a logarithmic graph, construct a logarithmic graph, sometimes called log-log plot of this equation. Okay. Um, first, we solve y, okay, y equal to square root of one over x raised to power four. Simply five, and then we construct um, table value, table of values. Give some x value, and what is the y? Then you plot these values on axis, where both scales are log 
logarithmic. Okay, so both x and y, see this scale on x and the scale on y are logarithmic scale. Um, and the result you get actually a straight line, y. If you take a log from original function, both sides of original function, you take the log, you do a little bit algebra, okay, use the properties, and you are here. Uh, and the letter u is log y, and v is log x, and you have this equation here. And this is the uh, linear equation, straight line of equation. Okay. In summary, what we did in this lecture, we did three topics. Natural logarithm means when you have a base E, and we usually write down just ln, that is the natural logarithm. We also did the change base formula. That is a very important formula. For example, if you have a base B, raised to power base B then X, then you can change it to any base. For example, base A, X divided by log base A, then B. It is used a lot, this formula, okay? And we solve for exponential and logarithmic equations. Finally, we draw the graph of logarithmic and semi-logarithmic graph. That's all for this lecture. Thanks for watching.